Welcome back to the show. My first guest tonight, he has appeared in probably every single Australian soap. <laughs> All four of them. <laughs> He's an actor and a very, very good guy. Please put your hands together for Jerry Sutton, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Sit on down. Sit on down. I know you are, you're a bit worried about coming on the show. Oh, not really. I just want to let you know before we start, there's an ecumenical man inside of me. So. Oh, well, <laughs> did you see the episode when we had Thomas Keneally on? <laughs> <laughs> How many weeks ago was that now? A few. A few. <laughs> a couple. A couple. It might have been last week. Yeah, could be. Uh, I, think I haven't so. done the math. No, no, thanks. Now, I, um, what? again, I, I, I found out you were afraid of snakes. Yeah, I am. I'm not afraid yeah, of many because things. Because? Oh, no, don't. What? Don't. What? No, are you kidding me? What would I... We can't afford a snake. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> I could do. Now, as I said, though, the there soapies, right? You, you've, done a, you've done a few. I've done my fair share. What's, what's your favourite one? You've got what, to have a favourite one. What, to act in or watch? Um, well, what's, what's the difference? What's the difference between acting and... A, well, I would never watch a soap on television. You have a choice. But if you... If in a Oh, you did that. Uh, what's that thing? What? That, that dirty one that was on. Were you in that? <laughs> you know that. What's that? What's that? Was it? Someone. Chances. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Did you have to nude up in there? Because you get nude a lot, don't you? <laughs> you're, a you're a tyrant. No, what? I'm you're a tyrant. No, no, no. But I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, is it you, you, a lot of your <laughs> acting stuff? <laughs> I do in the nude. <laughs> I'm actually learning to act now in French. Oh, yeah. And I said to the class the other night, it's uh, say 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 it's it's harder to act in French than it is to act nude. Yeah. Because it's but we do you know French. Can I speak it on peu? Parce que tu parles français? Oui, oui. <laughs> okay, ça fait rien. Anyway. That means I want to go to the toilet. That's right. That's right. Oui, oui. Or yes, yes. Now, what an actor does to answer your question, the, an actor, when the work isn't flowing and jobs get offered to you, like Michael Caine once said, someone said to him, why are you a successful actor? And in his autobiography, he said, I have never turned down a job. Yeah. Now, you can imagine in Australia where, you know, the AFI announces... Because he has done a lot of shit too. He, that's it? right, that's right. Yeah. But, you know, when you're in an industry like Australia, which is a small island tucked away in the bottom of the world, and we make like 12 films a year, yeah. the opportunities for actors are very rare and far between. So an actor ends up saying, well, sure, I've studied in London, I've studied in New York, but I haven't worked as an actor for two years, and then someone offers you a gig. And yeah, you might have to get your gear off occasionally and show your backside, but yeah. a job's a job, and you really just want to act. Did you not get a stunt bum? Didn't like the a big... stunt bum? No, well, don't you know? Uh, is you that, is that again? Do you did know? Jeremy Sims get a stunt bum? I don't know. No, no, you don't. Unfortunately, you use your had to use your own. Oh, okay, but um, all right. So back to the the other soaps, Andy, the the ones where you didn't have to take your clothes off. Okay. Uh, but you, you don't watch soaps. What, what, was, what was a good one to act Well, uh, the, one, the one I had a lot of fun in was, I guess, Home and Away. As, yeah. But not as originally as Brett Macklin. When I came back later as the, as the older Brett Macklin, that was when I was, had more experience, it was easier going, the acting was easier. Plus, I had developed a style back then. When you're a young actor, you really don't know how to act. You turn up on set and the directors say, do this, do that, do this, do that, and you're all at sixes and sevens. But when you finally develop a technique, yeah. right, and you've got your script, you say, I'd like to do this on this line, and I'd like to do this, and props, I'd like a clipboard and a briefcase for this scene. And they go, props, and you get all the props that you need. So basically, you create your own performance, and I like that sense of control. Right. So they must have a budget then to be able to get clipboards and... Yeah, there Things is. Like that, there yeah. is on all shows and movies. It's it's un, and TVCs. It's unlimited. But yeah. on soaps, even then, they have a prop. They have a prop buyer for all soaps, yeah. and that prop buyer, their sole job, is to buy go, props. Buy the props. <laughs> buy the props. <laughs> go out whatever props are specifically needed for that particular episode. Yeah. 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 So I'd I'd, I'd like to do a soap. I think that would be. Do, but you have to act different to me. You, you know when the, the American ones. You know when you see uh, uh, Days of Our Lives. Yeah. That's. That must be hard to act well, like that, that. Well, that's a keen observation that you've made. But for people who don't know why it's, it's harder to act on an American soap is they call it, if I talk to the camera, they call it sides. Yeah. So in other words, on an American soap, and people will know this, it's people just walk into a room and bang, we're on a, we're on a medium close-up, bam, then we're on a close-up. And basically, you can't do anything yeah. in the scene. In American yeah. soaps, they I'd, don't want I'd you to... I'd be sitting out here, wouldn't I? I'd be like this. You'd be talking to me. I'd be looking yeah, me up. Yeah, and that's right. And, and I'd be trying to make contact with you. And no matter what I do, I can't get your attention and I can't touch you. And you just got to work that. And finally, when it's your turn to say a line, you will do what? 
turn around. That's right. And that's right. And then we'll have this kind of confrontation. Yes. And then we pause and, at great lengths. And then I'd go, Darren, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> and I'd look over here and it's now my turn to look away from camera. But what if I'm not happy with that either? <laughs> well, then you get this standoff thing happening. And then, you know, whatever, finally cut. But the fun thing, to get back to your original question, what made... What was my original question? I why, forgot what's one. a good soap to yeah. do? A good show to do is when an actor gets to play. And how do we get to play? We get to create an activity in, a f in, in the actual scene. Who are, you, who are you, some of your inspirations in? Who are... uh, actors, I... Actors, actors wise, yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll start the acting thing, yeah. Well, obviously, when I grew up, I was 16 and Mel Gibson had just graduated from NIDA. Yeah. So I sort of, I liked, I, he was doing, at the time, Mad Max, but really Lethal Weapon 1. I really liked his character. But also, I'm sort of into action movies, so it's yeah. going to be Bruce Willis. Yeah. And... Do you like Moonlighting? Remember Bruce Willis when he... Uh, yes, and when it was with Sybil Shepard. Not yeah, Sybil Shepard. Yeah, Do you yeah. I read somewhere that he, that's what, that was his first big acting role, Moonlighting. And right. he didn't know what to do with his hands. So we had him in his pockets the whole time. If you watch Moonlighting, yeah. he walks around with his hands in his pockets. Yeah, but yeah. it's funny you say that, Darren. You've got to be sure because... Why? Is it... Well, because, because they said that about Michael J. Fox oh. in, in his show. What was his TV series, everyone? Uh, Family My, Ties. Family Ties, thank yeah. you. Because I got annoyed that Michael J. Fox was always putting his hands yeah. in his pockets. So, you see, again, it, it, yeah. it annoyed you. What an actor does with his activity in his hands is the biggest challenge for an actor. Forget about delivering the lines or adjusting your accent or adjusting your physicality. That's... You can do that. But what are you physically doing? So I got really annoyed at Family Ties and I stopped watching it. And especially when he was doing Back to the Future 1, 2, 3. And I thought every scene he's putting his hands in his pocket. It's like an actor that smokes in a scene. You go, yeah. come on, man. Or Robert Redford. Chewing chewing gum in every scene. You go, is that the limit of your creativity? But then when you read Michael J's Fox autobiography, he was, he was on set of Parkinson and he was afraid that the audience would see his hand shaking. Hey. So he stuck his hand in his pocket because he didn't want to show his disability. Hmm. And then you have a lot more compassion uh, for that situation. Yeah. Do you like doing theatre? I love doing theatre. At 15, that's what I fell in love with. I didn't fall in love with being, an act, uh, being a TV actor, which is so boring, and film, which again, the, you know the axiom for film acting is, on a film set? Go on. Hurry up and wait. Yeah. Right, so I can't stand that. I've got ADD, so I kind of want to get on there, get in and do it. And in theatre, it's live. You only get one chance to hit your, hit your lines, hit your mark, and hit your performance. If you've got to cry, you've got to cry. You don't get like three, four, five, seven takes, nine takes. Oh, let's break for lunch, everyone, until the actor gets their shit together. You know, on stage, you've got to, you've got to do it and nail your performance every night. Yeah, every and night, though. Can you, did you like that whole thing of doing, you know, I, can't, I couldn't imagine these guys that do Fan of the Opera for, uh, you know, 15 years. Yeah, I don't. That'd just, I'd go nuts. I, I did Lacage for a year, Lacage of Fault, the musical. Yeah, yeah. And so that was eight shows a week for a year. And I have to tell you, at the end of a year, I was, I was, I needed six months. That's when I went to New yeah. York after that. I thought, oh, I've got enough. I can give it away for a moment and go back and study. Yeah. You subsidised some of your stuff by corporate training, yeah? Yeah. That's... What, what would, you, would you train corporate people to act? You know, I know you're, it, you're being... No, 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 I'm not. I'm, no, you I'm are. saying, but no, no, that's no, no, I'm being... No, if no, I was I'm giving saying, a... but no, no. <laughs> no, stop. If I was giving advice... <laughs> that's yeah. right. If yeah. I meet yeah. any young actors today, yeah. anyone starting out as an actor, I say, become a corporate trainer. Yeah. The, it's the one industry that is booming. It's going like that. And for people who don't know, corporate training is essentially... You go into m large corporations or companies and they all want to learn how to be more confident at delivering business presentations. Mm. So what do you think is the one key thing that everybody just out there generally in the business world suffers from when they have to stand up at work and deliver a presentation? Nerves. Correct, Amundo. And what are actors trained at acting school to get over? Nerves. Correct, Amundo. Two. So you, you, wow, that's, two from two. I, yeah, two from two. So, yeah. so that's what you go in. You go in and basically, I tell them straight up front, Oscar Wilde once said, the hardest thing about acting is sincerity. Once you've learned how to fake that, you've got it made. That's it. And then I just teach them how to fake it. Yeah. Fake that they're confident. Fake that they know what they're talking about because the reality is, for anyone who's out in an audience watching someone either acting or, say, presenting, whether that person really is confident or whether they're simply acting that they're confident, the audience can't tell the difference. That's right.
that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good no, because I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of uh, corporate oh, corporate presentations that you just go, man, they just bore the crap out of their staff, their customers, and everybody else. So you put a bit of pizzazz in there, and and it's nice, right? You yeah. gave me the uh, you gave me the quiz of two questions. Oh right, it's right. A revenge so, time. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, it's, it's nothing bad. It's, it's right up your alley. Okay. It's, it's all to do with musicals. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, you like you like you like I the musical. Can't have a few. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to say. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to throw a few out there, and then just name the musical or name the. Or Can finish, I finish it? May yeah. I call for audience support if I don't know the answer? You can, but looking around, I'm not sure they're going to know. <laughs> <laughs> the front row there. Uh, I don't know how many musicals you've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. What, Greece? <laughs> no, I haven't even seen Greece. Yeah, you're in trouble, man. All don't right. go to don't go to the audience. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair. Came from which show? Wash that man right out of my hair. Um, could I wash that man right out of it? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't. Uh, uh, Hairspray? No. But, no, I haven't seen Hairspray, that's no, why. No, no. It's a classic, is it? Tell yeah, me. South Pacific. No, oh, okay, we'll see. No, 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 it's okay. Go it's theatre, a... ask me something okay, about okay. Mamet or Ibsen or Chekhov or. Go on. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Derek. Sorry. So hey, I didn't have those ones prepared, Derek, but. Yeah, no, no, okay, no, yeah, okay, okay, I'll do an easy one. An easy one, an easy one. They're very important. That's something. I've just finished a certificate four course. Which is certificate four is where you learn how to qualify train the trainer, and and you, then no longer in life do they have yes or no or pass and fail because that's not PC anymore. You have competent or not yet competent. Right. So I'm not yet competent. No, that, that that's fine. But but okay. th that's fine. I'll, I'll I'll do one that you're competent with. <laughs> what type of shop was the little shop of horrors? The little shop of horrors was a flower shop. Correct, you. you see? Praise Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank no worries. Okay. Little sharp, little sharp, horrors call the cops. I don't know if we've got rights to use the music. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Which city saw the premiere of Les Miserables? Le you mean, you, that wouldn't be Les Miserables, would it? By any <laughs> yeah, chance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say the premiere was perhaps in L London? No. No, try New York. No. OK, try Paris. Yes, there you go. See, I thought because of the title, title you would know that one. OK. Right. OK, OK. Um, last one then. A dream to dream in. Can I sing every song from that? No, every song. I can play every song from that on the piano, though. Can you, I, I, I can play one song on the piano. What's that? Uh, the theme from Cheers. <laughs> I don't know why, but I can. OK. Where was the, where was the fiddler? In the musical's title. Thank goodness. Yeah. Sur, and I have my French instructor in the audience, sur le trois, trois, qu'est-ce que c'est, roof, en français? Trois. Trois, yeah. Sur le, sur le trois. Yes. On the roof. Yes, correct. Because yeah, I knew that's what you said. On the roof. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Jerry, for coming thank you, in. Right, Appreciate thank it. You. Please thank Jerry Son. After the break, we'll be uh, having some music from Stone Parade. Okay.